Welcome to Far Cry 4. I thought I'd make this video today just to change things up on my channel a little bit and because I'm actually really interested in the Far Cry series. I did play a little bit of Far Cry 3 but I've never really got into that game as much as I did the first two games so I thought I'd bring it back home a little bit with Far Cry 4 and I have to say from the things that I've seen so far uh, I'm relatively impressed with what they're going to be bringing to the table this year. So let's have a look a little bit more detail about some of the things that are coming and some of the things that have really got me excited for this game. So firstly, the location, which is always something that Far Cry sets itself aside from with most other first person shooter multiplayer survival games, is uh, this time we're set in the Himalayas. You'll remember before it was desert islands and tropical islands, and before that we've had an African setting and things like that. So they really are carrying on the tradition of trying to find a really cool location for you to wander around, sneak around, kill people with stuff, <laughs> and then move on to the next base. And I have to say, I mean, it's really difficult to see on a YouTube video just how beautiful this game is, but I've seen some screenshots and things like that, and I have to say I'm really impressed with how the graphics look. I mean, I've never really been let down by a Far Cry game, let's say, but it's good to see that they're holding true to that amazing graphic effect. The footage in the background, though, I will just comment on. I'm not sure if this was recorded on a PC or if it was on console. Just thanks, first of all, to VG247 for, for giving me the footage because they were the guys that went to E3 and, and got to play this game. I'm really jealous of them they got to play this game. Uh, but I can't tell if it was recorded on a console or if it was recorded on PC. But you can see from the player movement when they're moving their aim around that it is controlled by a console. So I'm going to have to assume this is console gameplay. So this is probably not the best the game can look. That's what PC will bring to the table, but it still looks really good if this is on console. Going back to the thing I mentioned about having different locations for the Far Cry game, that basically meant that it was a different story each time that you were playing through a different character, or the stories were never connected between the first three Far Cry games, but it looks as if one of the pre-order bonuses is going to give you access to Herc from Far Cry 3. And this is the first time the developers have bought something from an older game or another game within the franchise into another Far Cry game. So could we see Far Cry 3 and 4 actually being linked together? Maybe it's a possibility or maybe it just happens so that they shoehorned him in. But I'm sure there's a reason why this guy's going to be in the game and it'd be really interesting to play through the campaign and, and see what's what with this guy. But very quickly, going back to uh, going back to the main character that you play as, the guy's called AJ Gale. Uh, I'm not sure on his nationality actually from the stuff that I've seen so far. I can't be too sure exactly sort of what he's like, but we do know that he's chock full of weapons. I mean, you can see on the screen he's been using the crossbow for most of the gameplay so far. You can see the knife goes through the back when the guy took him down. There's grenades, a bundle in there. There's machine guns, sniper rifles, pistols, throwing knives. You can even throw meat out in front of you and attract wild animals in to try and sort of distract the enemy AI, which I think is a really cool touch. And that's probably another thing I should touch on. The AI seem to be much more intelligent in Far Cry 4 than, than they do in Far Cry 3. And in fact, the base that is in the gameplay now is probably one of the biggest ones I've ever seen that you have to take over in a Far Cry game. Because in Far Cry 3, some of those little like village huts and sort of outhouses and things that you had to take over really weren't that sort of engaging. And the fact that this is much bigger, there are more enemies, because they're sort of a little bit more clever, they can climb up to higher levels so it makes it difficult for you to stay hidden all the time. It means that it's going to present more of a challenge to actually play this game and, or as players stealth through this game at least. It's going to be much harder to do that this time around. Of course, you don't actually have to be stealthy at all. And uh, I'm going to switch to some gameplay here of uh, getting on the back of an elephant and absolutely running riot inside the base. This looks ultimately amazingly fun. Uh, you just get a machine gun, slap it on the back, you start spraying people down. Elephant runs through people, takes out cars, people bricks I don't even know this this elephant goes through everything and it doesn't actually seem to have a health meter so you just carry on running around until you get shot off the back of the elephant or you end up killing everybody and progressing through to the next level but of course reinforcements are coming in all the time you might be able to see a helicopter in there that that ends up bringing a load of like SWAT team in which I think is really weird for like a, a Himalayan setting but it means that it, the battle has a lot of different ways of being approached and you don't just have to be a stealthy guy, you can you can run through the front door with an elephant, all guns blazing, 
Or you can get in one of these things and fly over the battlefield with a grenade launcher wrecking havoc at people on the ground. And if you're really lucky, you might even be able to actually get the helicopter that's flying around because basically with a grenade launcher, you're just going to take anything out that you can. So there are so many different ways that you can approach these bases and so many tools at your disposal that I can't really see you ever getting bored and the repayability does look quite good in this game. And probably the final thing for me is that, that Far Cry has always been a little bit of a letdown when it comes to the multiplayer. You mainly buy this game just for the single player so the multiplayer is just sort of like an added extra and if it's any good then, then that's a bonus but Far Cry 3's multiplayer wasn't very good. Um, it really didn't rank up there with any multiplayers that, that I've really played. Um, but to sort of solve that problem, Ubisoft have been working with, uh, with Sony on the PSN platform. They're basically allowing you to bring another friend into the game and play through the single player as a, like a co-op campaign, which I think is a really good idea. And the player doesn't even actually have to have the game in order to play with you. You just need one copy of the game and the other guy can just join in with you and end up stomping elephants or flying little helicopters around or stealth mode a load of people or if you want to synchronize knife somebody halfway across the uh, <laughs> across the location then you can do that. I think that's a really cool step from Sony. It remains to be seen as to whether that's going to be implemented with the Xbox version of the game but if you don't like playing single player games or you always like playing multiplayer the fact that you could play with one of your friends in a co-op campaign and just play really however you want. Seems like a really appealing thing to me, so it's good to see them put that in there. But anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. Thanks to VG247 and Game for supplying the footage. There's a link in the description. But the reason I wanted to make this video is because Battlefield is Battlefield, and I want to show off some of the other things that I do in gaming because this is my channel, and I want everyone to be able to share that with me. So if you enjoyed the video today, make sure you hit the like button and leave some comments down below. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.